hello, and this is Delia again, and I have a little book called T Disney's Princess, A Perfect Party, and we got it out of this book called The Princess Storybook Collection Event Calendar. And this is Scarlett's big book of calendars with all of her books. Are you excited, Scarlett? Uh-huh. All right. We're going to read A Perfect Party. I believe this is Cinderella. We'll have to just find out. See, it is Cinderella. A perfect party. Cinderella and her prince sat before a roaring fire. Christmas was coming in a few days and Cinderella was excited. Let's throw a party, she suggested to the prince. What a splendid idea, he replied. How can I help? Cinderella smiled. Just leave everything to me, she said. The next day, the princess began to decorate. May we help, Cinderella? Jack and Gus asked. Of course, she replied. Let's start with the grand staircase. When the mice tied some bows, a spool of ribbon began to roll down the banister. Gus hopped aboard. It was just like a sleigh ride without the sled. Is he silly mouse? He's a silly mouse, isn't he? When Cinderella and her friends, friends finished the staircase, they moved on to the rest of the castle. Jack and Gus helped the princes put garlands, garlands over the windows in the ballroom with pretty bells and baubles. They tied sprigs of holly over the doorways. They even hung stockings by the fireplaces and lit candles, which gave the rooms a cozy little glow. All by the fireplace. Makes it pretty at Christmas. Finally, Cinderella and her friends moved to the stone patio, where Cinderella planned to hold her party. Won't our guests be chilly out here? the prince asked. I'm sure it will be fine, Cinderella replied. Besides, what well, could be more magical than celebrating under the stars? I like stars. They're twinkly, Gus said as he nibbled on a popcorn garland. Gus, Jack scolded, you are supposed to be hanging decorations, not eating them. <laughs> What's he eating the decorations? He was silly. Later, Cinderella went to the royal sewing room. When Prudence, the head of household staff, peeked in, she saw the princess sewing a handkerchief. Why don't you ask the royal seamstress to do that, Prudence suggested. I'm making presents for our guests, Cinderella said. It gives them a personal touch, if I do say so myself. And if I do them myself. On Christmas Eve, the royal chef came to speak with Cinderella. He wanted to know what he should cook for the party. Not a thing, Cinderella replied. Later, Prudence saw her in the storeroom filling baskets with fruit, ears of corn, and different kinds of cheese. She was appalled. Back on the patio, Cinderella laid out the food. Hmm, she said, something's missing, but what? Suddenly, Cinderella's fairy godmother magically appeared. My dear, you need a centerpiece, she said. Waving her wand, she turned a water jug into an ice sculpture. Now everything is perfect for our Christmas picnic, Cinderella explained. When Cinderella left, when Cinderella left to change her gown, the fairy godmother slipped into the ba banquet room. Oh, no, she said, looking at the decorations. Cinderella and the mice had hung... Had, Cinderella and the mice had hung what they had hung, the, the decorations. This will never do for a royal ball. The fairy godmother waved her wand. Instantly, an elaborate feast appeared. She waved her wand twice more, and the court musicians appeared, ready to play. Now that's more like it, said the fairy godmother. Look. When Cinderella and the prince walked past the banquet room, the princess couldn't believe her eyes. Just then, Prudence rushed in. Where are the guests? She asked Cinderella. 
My party isn't being held in here, Cinderella told her. Then where is it? Prudence asked. Thinking quickly, the princess said, A Christmas party in honor of the royal staff. Would you please tell everyone else? What a wonderful surprise, the housekeeper explained. Cinderella opened the patio doors. Merry Christmas, a chorus of chirps, barks, and whinies answered her. All of Cinderella's animal friends had gathered for her party. Happy Christmas, Cinderella, Gus shouted. Merry Christmas, Jack said, correcting him after lots of delicious food. It was time for presents. There were new feed bags, cozy blankets, stylish mouse-sized outfits. Jack loved his new jacket so much that he couldn't stop looking at his reflection. Aww. Later, the prince and Cinderella danced under the stars. When they stopped, they realized they were alone. Oh my, look, Cinderella cried. Their animal friends had gone inside and were with the staff. Delighted that everyone was getting along, Cinderella and the prince joined them. It was the most unusual and the merriest, merriest Christmas celebration they'd ever had. Yay, look at the horse in there. And that was a perfect party. Did you like that, Scarlet? Was it good? Did you like it? Cinderella, perfect party. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Have a wonderful day. There will be more soon. Take care.